Hey guys, Adam here from Sursum Creative, and in this video today, I want to show you how to add custom fonts to your Duda site. Now, Duda's got a lot of fonts available already, um, and you can also add Google fonts. Now, that's separate from what we're going to do today. Um, you can use any Google font on your Duda site. Um, there's a process to do that as well. Um, or if you're not opposed to spending a couple bucks, you can head over to the camel. They have this great Google font text widget. Uh, I have it and use it. It works great. Um, so that's an option for Google fonts, but let's say you have a custom font that you want to use on your Duda site, whether, um, that's for yourself or a client, you need to match a very specific font for their branding. Um, so the problem is typically when you have a custom font, uh, it's not a web font. Well, it needs to be a web font in order for you to use it on your website. Now, Duda has this support article um, that explains how to do this process, and I will link to this and everything else uh, underneath the video in the notes. Um, but this article, it's pretty involved. I think it can be a little bit overwhelming if you uh, go through and muddle through it on your own. What I'm going to do is walk you through this process today step by step. So let's say I've already downloaded this monkey act font that I want to use on my site. All I did was click download. It's going to download a zip file. And in that zip file, you're going to have an OTF file type for your font. And that is the file type we need to now convert to a web font. So what we're going to do is head over to the font squirrel web font generator. And we are going to upload that OTF uh, font type. So I'm going to navigate to that on my computer, select it here, upload that font type. And now what I want to do is select expert, uncheck these two font formats, and we want the true type, EOT light and SVG font formats. We can skip all this other stuff unless you really want to get super nerdy and go through and take a look at it. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to skip it. Uh, what we want to do now is we need to hit the agreement. Yes, the fonts I'm uploading are legally eligible for web embedding. And then we click on download your kit. Now, what this is going to do is convert our OTF font type to the other font types that we selected so that we can use them on our Duda site. So as soon as this is done downloading, um, we're going to save it to our computer and then we're going to unpack the zip file and uh, pick up from there. So now I've already downloaded the converted files and unzipped it. And you can see here, this is everything that's going to be contained within your unzipped file. Now, the things that I want to point out specifically here are the EOT, SVG, and TTF files. Those are our converted web font files. The other thing, which we'll reference back to later, is this stylesheet.css file. And we'll, again, we'll get back to that. So now the very next thing we need to do is we need to head over to our Duda site and we need to upload those three font types to our Duda site. So we're going to head over to content, uh, go to manage files, and we're going to uh, select those three font types that we just unzipped. Okay, so again, it's the EOT, SVG, and TTF files that we need. We'll go ahead and open those to upload. Okay, our files are now uploaded. Now here is the tricky part that really doesn't make any sense until after you do it. Now that we've got all three of these files, what we need to do is essentially embed these files into a button so we can access their link, okay? So just go ahead on each one, one by one, you click select, okay? And you see how it added that download file, all right? We need to do that again now for the next one and the third one, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to go grab our site preview link. So go ahead and head up here to infos and tools. 
grab your preview link, copy that. Okay, and then we're going to open that in a separate tab. Now, while that's loading, we're going to let that go for a minute and we'll come back here. The very next thing we need to do is embed a piece of code on our site. So head back to your, uh, your site editor and go to your edit HTML and CSS. So now that we have loaded our uh, code editor on our site, uh, let's head back to the Duda instructions here real quick. You'll notice that um, maybe about halfway down the page, there's this section that says embed files on Duda via font face, okay? And this is where we're at right now is go to developer mode. We wanna grab this string of code here. Let's go ahead and grab that and copy it. Um, and then we wanna go over and put this into our site.css file. So back in our code editor, go to site HTML, and then we want to click on site CSS. Now, here's a little disclaimer here real quick, guys, that I, I made a really dumb mistake, okay? Um, and I actually ended up on support chat with Duda trying to figure out why this wasn't working. And the dumb mistake I made, which um, maybe, maybe the support agent was just being nice, uh, but told me that they've made the same mistake a dozen times as well. I accidentally clicked on site theme instead of site. So just make sure you pick the right one. Okay, and then what we want to do in here is paste that code that we just copied over. Now you're going to see here in a couple of, in two spots where it has an all caps that says font name and font name. We need to replace this with our new web font name. Now you might be wondering, where do I get that? Well, let's go back to our style.css file that was in uh, mixed in with what we downloaded earlier. And you'll notice here, there is our font name. Okay, so we need to copy that just inside those asterisks. And we need to plug that in and replace this in our code. Okay, so now that that is there, the next thing we need to do, you see here in three spots where it's got this URL placeholder. We need to replace the URLs with these font formats. So you can see here, uh, there's the open type font format, there's the SVG, and then there's the true type or TTF, okay? So that was why we created those buttons earlier um, to be able to grab those URLs. So now, we flip back over to our site preview. And what we're gonna do is you can see now as I hover over this in the bottom left, it is telling me down in there that this is the TTF file. So we're gonna right click, copy link address, head back over and go to our TTF line and replace that line of code to give it our URL to find that file. Now we head over to the next one. This one is our SVG. Copy that link address as well. And we wanna to go to the SVG line here and we wanna replace that. And then last but not least is our EOT file. Copy the link address, head back over here, replace that, and then simply hit save. Okay, so now that we've made all of these changes, we have converted our OTF font type to a web font type, uh, and we have uh, put in the, the script on our site CSS in the, the code uh, area, uh, and we've now told it where to find these files. We should be able to use this now. So. Um, we save and we close to go back out here. Now let's say we want to change this font to use this new monkey act font. So we want to right click on it, hit edit HTML and CSS. 
and then we want to go to our CSS tab, general for all devices, or you can customize this by specific uh, devices. And then in between those brackets here, we want to add our font family uh, with the, uh, the name of the font and hit update. And there we go. That is all there is to it, guys. Now we can use this font anywhere we want on our site. Uh, we can do the same thing uh, here in this button if we want to. Go to our CSS and in between these brackets, and there you have it. And then you can adjust your font size uh, as you normally would. There you go, guys. That's all you have to it. That is how to add any custom font to your Duda website. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, I'll be coming up with some more. So check them out. Thanks, guys.